What game have you guys been playing the longest? That's my question for you. What game have you been playing the longest? For me, as of this month, sometime around the beginning of it, or maybe maybe the end of last month, uh, nine years ago, I started playing Minecraft. Yep. I didn't really think that I'd be playing this game for that long, to be completely honest with you. Um, yeah, it's just, it, would, it was never one of those things that even crossed my mind at that time. Like, I'd never even thought that I was going to be doing YouTube. That wasn't even in my thought process at all. I was just told about this game by somebody at work. I was like, you know what? I'll give it a go. I'll check it out. Yeah. So that, <laughs> nine years later, I am now playing this game pretty much daily. Uh, it's just one of those things, like, have you really ever thought about whatever game that you've played the longest? I'm sure a lot of people would be answering a question like that. I would probably see along the lines of World of Warcraft or maybe some other MMO that's taken a long time for them to get through. Um, but yeah, Minecraft, nine years. That seems like an awfully long time. And it doesn't just seem like an awfully long time. It really is an awfully long time to be playing this game. But with all the changes that they made to this game throughout the years, like I, I definitely could see why I've been playing it for this long. They've It started off... <laughs> as just like a silly little building game made of blocks and at that time like there wasn't even anything else to do there was just like pretty much planes and trees and uh i think you could do mine carts and things like that at the time but like the game has evolved so much and there's been so much content added to it since i first started playing it like it's pretty much a it's almost a completely different game from where i started anyway um yeah like Back when I first started playing, there wasn't even the nether. That wasn't even a thing at that time, <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. Um, so, yeah, I, I, it's just kind of like one of those things that I think about every now and then. It's like, man, I've been playing this game for quite some time. Um, so, yeah, we are starting a brand new survival let's play here in vanilla Minecraft. We are playing 1.14.4. Mm-hmm. Um, so... A question that's going to be asked, I'm sure, is what's the seed? Well, that's one of those things that, I don't know, I feel like if I give out the seed to you guys this early on in a playthrough, uh, people are going to put it into one of those seed finders and tell me where all the dungeons are, or they'll load up the same world and fly around and find all the cool things, and, like, there won't be a whole lot left for me to explore myself, right? And, yeah, mm, not really sure I want to do that at this point. Um... But yeah, what I do want to do is go and explore this game a bit. So I haven't played vanilla Minecraft in quite some time. Like those of you who've been following my channel, by the way, if you're not following the channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell thing to get notified of new uploads. Um, so yeah, those of you who have been following my channel know that I've been doing a whole lot of modded Minecraft. And yeah, the vanilla Minecraft situation has been pretty stale for a while. Now, that's not including the aquatic update that they did not too long ago. And now this new village and pillage update, like there's some pretty cool things that they've added to the game recently that has drawn my attention. Um, I did go and I played this game or I played a, a vanilla playthrough on stream on my live streams. I do stream on Twitch, by the way. And, yeah, we did a hardcore playthrough trying to get every single achievement, or every single advancement, I guess is what they call it. And, yeah, that's just one of those things that, you know, I would have... <laughs> I don't think I ever would have given that a thought to play it until somebody brought it up that, hey, it's actually quite fun to try and do that in hardcore. There's a lot of advancements. Like, the last time I looked at them, uh, I think one of the advancements was to get a saddle and ride a pig off a cliff and make the pig die or something. That's not even an advancement anymore. Um, yeah, there's just so many interesting things I feel like that are definitely worth in are definitely worth checking out if you haven't before. So one of the features that they've added recently was this recipe book right here, which I thought was pretty nice. It's something that this game has needed for quite some time. Uh, is a way to look up recipes. Previous to them adding this book here, you really had to memorize every single item in the game or be very familiar with going off to the wiki and looking up the recipes. <laughs> um, yeah, so 
that's definitely one of those things that's nice that they have added. Let's get some charcoal cooking up here. I want to go down. The very first thing that I want to do is I want to mine for diamonds. I want to get a full set of armor. I want to get a full set of diamond tools. And then I want to start enchanting all those things. Are we going to do all that stuff today? Probably not. Uh, but I definitely want to get a good portion of that done. Uh, let's do that. I'll put eight more of these guys in there. Cool. Yeah, I want to make sure we got torches so we can see what we're doing when we go down and mine. So I'll just grab a couple of these and we'll work our way down. I can come back and grab the rest of them here in a little bit. All right. You know what I really would like to do is go find myself some sheep, actually. We saw pigs, but I didn't see any sheep. There's pigs that way. Maybe maybe there's something over this way. Uh, yeah, if we can get some sheep, we'll be able to make a bed. We won't worry too much about monsters and getting armor as quickly as otherwise. Um, not really seeing... Yeah, we got ocean all around. <laughs> we got a huge forest fire over there. Oh, boy. Is that going to spread all the way over here? It might... I don't see any sheep around. Well, that's something that I guess we can just hold off on doing. Like, we're going to be down in the mines for a little bit. Uh, I definitely want to get this food cooked up as well. Maybe I should just go ahead and make another furnace for that. Uh, where is it? Right here. Uh, do I have enough stone? I don't have enough stone. Let's mine a little bit more stone. I'm going to make this three blocks tall so I don't hit my head every single time I go down a block we'll get the extra stone we need by doing that anyway all right very good very good okay so one of those one of those furnace and that's done I guess I didn't even need the other furnace oh well so here we go and there yeah so now we'll have plenty of food Okay, well, I'm going to continue digging down. Hopefully, we will be able to get some coal so I don't have to keep chopping down wood uh, to make charcoal, to make torches. I'd rather just mine the stuff. Normally, you find that pretty quickly on your first, uh, yeah, your first dig down into the mines down below. But anyway, I'll go ahead and just keep digging down, and I'll see you guys when I've reached the bottom. Yeah, those spoopy noises in Minecraft now. So the staircase that we built, well, I guess it was, uh, I was just digging down. I'm starting to turn that into a staircase. Uh, that pretty much ended right where we needed to, to be. Let me go ahead and throw, oh, you know what? I don't have enough stairs, do I? Ah, uh, all right, so we need to, yeah, I need one more recipe of stairs. We need to come all the way up here real quick so I can make some more stairs. But yeah, I know like with mine shafts like this, I'm going to be up and down, up and down. So one of the first things I wanted to do was to put stairs in there to make sure uh, that we're not like wasting our hunger by jumping up and down. Definitely don't want to be banging our head on the ceiling and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just a little bit into digging our mine here, we came across what we're looking for. Um, let's replace that. There we go. And here we are. Awesome. All right. So the idea is this is going to be like a three by three mine shaft. I'm going to dig that all out. And then every 10 blocks or I guess 12 blocks, we'll be doing branch mines either side and doing our poke hole uh, mining technique that we do. There we go. There's our first pork chop eaten. Um, let me see. We want to come over to here. That's 10 blocks in. And place another torch just to make sure we're not going to be spawning monsters. We should be okay. So yeah, let's check this out. So I did make an iron pickaxe. I have smelted down some iron. We have 12 more ingots. And I have 9 ores to go. So we almost got enough for a full set of iron armor if we wanted to do that. Uh, but yeah, first diamonds of the series. Here we go. So there's at least 4. Okay, so there's 1, 2, 3... So pickaxe and then one for an enchantment table. These we're going to leave until we get fortune. Yep, there's no real reason to mine any more than that. So the pickaxe we have, we're going to try and get ourselves a fortune pickaxe eventually. Obviously, we can't do it right now until we do a little bit more stuff. But yep, that's where these diamonds are going to go. So that's for our diamond pickaxe. And you know what? This one, this wooden one, we'll just let that despawn right there. Uh, I still got a stone pickaxe just for regular mining, and then we switched over to an iron pickaxe at this point. 
But yeah, this guy, that'll be pretty much uh, for mining obsidian for an enchantment table. We need four pieces of obsidian, and then we'll try and get fortune on this guy. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are doing pretty good. Guess I can throw those in here. I did end up finding a couple of coal veins, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, now that we have that stuff, I guess the next step is to try and find some lava so we can get ourselves the obsidian needed for an enchantment table and then do all the other things that are required for enchanting. Um, so lava, lava, lava. We could find, oh, actually we know where there is some on the surface, don't we? Because there was that forest fire over there. That means there's got to be lava. So that might be what we do. Let's not go into the mine. Let's go over there, try and get uh, lava from that area. I can also turn uh, three of these uh, iron that we have into a bucket. Which is definitely something you want to do if you're going to make obsidian. <laughs> and we're probably going to pick up this pickaxe on the way out, but that's fine. Okay, so let's make this easier to find. We'll just put it something like that. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of exploration over here. Uh, we want to go see if we can find <laughs> that lava that started the forest fire, which it should be in this general direction. Oh man, not easy to get around over here. Yeah, if that, like this is so densely forested here, that fire could potentially like keep spreading. Hopefully it didn't, and it's still burning over here. Oh boy, <laughs> that's fun. All right, let's not set ourselves on fire. Ooh, apple. Mm, mm, can I get through here? Aha, so we found lava, that was easy. Uh, I guess it probably would help if we had some water to put in this bucket. Let's go grab some water. Dolphin, that's cool. All right, uh, so <laughs> we got ourselves a bucket of water we want to obsidianize and eh, let's just do the top layer i'm sure this is more than one layer thick because we can also use this for obsidian for making another portal later on yeah that should be pretty good like that all right so we'll just come down here like a so and bucket of water all right so we oh i need the other pick we need four pieces of obsidian in order for us to make an enchantment table. So there goes two minutes of my life just sitting here right clicking or holding down right click. Well, it looks like it started raining and that seems to have put out the fire. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so we don't really have to worry about that spreading too much further now, as long as there's nothing else that will catch on fire directly from the lava. Uh, is this, is this a flower forest? What biome is this? This is, oh, this is just plains. I was thinking that because of all these flowers around, this might be a flower forest, but I guess not. Uh, we have pumpkins nearby, which is cool, but we are also still looking for sheep. Yep, we need to get ourselves some wool off a fluffy sheep or a few fluffy sheeps and make ourselves a bed so we can prevent rain from appearing <laughs> and sleep away the night and things along those lines. Oop, another cave. Okay. Um, no sheep around here. That is unfortunate. I might go through here. Is that, it looks like swamp over there actually because of the blue flowers and it looks like there's some vines. I guess we'll just go ahead and swim through the water here. Go across the other side and see what we can find. Yeah, that is definitely swamp-like area. Aha! There's a fluffy sheep. Oh, and it is becoming nighttime. So we gotta be quick here. Maybe we can just make a bed real quick. We need to sacrifice three of these guys. There's one. There's two. I think they all have to be the same color in order to make a bed. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so do I have wood on me? I have enough to make a crafting table and then I need one more piece of wood here. Just use this wooden pickaxe, doesn't matter. Okay, so now that, this, and then we get creepered, right? There's monsters nearby, where? How are there monsters nearby? There's no monsters nearby. This game's crazy. Cool. So <laughs> there we go. We got our first bed, our first sleep, 
That's awesome. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about nighttime anymore, which is fantastic. Uh, anything else over here of note while we're here? The waterfall, some squid. Anything else? No. Okay, well, I'm going to head back. Actually, I guess while we're here, what we should do... We should collect some sugar cane so we can start making paper. Yep. So pretty much what we need to do is go around and collect this stuff. And then we're going to set up like a small sugar cane farm. Uh, it'll expand over time, but it's going to start off pretty small. But yeah, the very first thing we need to do is definitely look around, see if we can grab some more of it. So when we start our farm, it's not going to take ages to get going. So I'll just do a little bit of exploration around, grab some more sugar cane, and we'll continue on, guys. All right, guys, so I went out and I found a whole bunch of sugar cane here. We got a little over a stack, stack and nine. But we want to grow these things. We want to continually produce sugar cane, right? So that's something that we're going to do. So sugar cane needs a source block of water in order to grow, right? So source block. And you can place it on all four sides of that water. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty obvious. So that leaves us, if we put another source block right here, we can fill in this spot, this spot, and then we can pack these in pretty tightly. So let's come over here, grab a little bit of water, and place it right there. Okay, so now we got uh, those guys like this. Now the next step is how do we pack these in even tighter so we can get more right here? Uh, I think what we do is we fill this spot in with more water. So we come over here, we do that, and then sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane, right? And then we can keep repeating this pattern. So if we play, place another one right here, we should be able to pack in more. And then we can just keep doing this over and over again. Uh, like so. Cool. So yeah, that will be a pretty efficient way to keep our sugar cane tightly packed. And because of the aquatic update, we can place stairs or other waterlogged blocks in these water sources. And they still act like water sources, but the sugar cane will not fall into those holes and we won't fall into those holes either when we're mining them. So that's really cool. Uh, also, I did end up building a house here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I spent a little bit of time just getting something. So we had to start our house, uh, but we have a bed upstairs. That's the important thing. So let's sleep in the bed. <laughs> uh, it was hard for me to try and get some oak. Um, or yeah, the regular oak wood. There's not a lot of oak trees around here, mostly all dark oak. So I built all the walls out of the dark oak stuff, but then I was just like, mm, we need something else, some other color here, uh, especially for the roofing. So I decided to try and find some oak trees and I've chopped them down. I've been replanting them, letting them grow. Uh, this is probably like my fifth ax now that I have, and this one's about to break too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot wait until we get enchantments going, but Yep, yeah, so just a little simple house, nothing like super, super fancy here. But the important thing is we need to get the sugar cane going because that is uh, pretty important for us to make sure that we have a supply of paper coming in so we can make our books, so we can do enchantments and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, more sugar cane right around there like a so, and that right there. And I think if we, yeah, we can put another one right here. Okay. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of creepers. Like, this is the dark, uh, I guess, roofed forest, the dark oak forest, or whatever. Uh, lots of creepers and mobs spawning over here, especially during the daytime. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. I think I might want to come through and clear some of this out just so we don't have monsters spawning that close to the base. Because I was over here doing something and I heard a creeper. I was like, oh, get away. Yeah, we ended up having one explode over here, which is nice because I actually did kind of want to level this out a little bit. Uh, so we had room for planting our sugar cane like we are. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I definitely don't want to end up dying to a silly creeper. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, so I'm just going to continue doing this, planting down as much sugar cane as I can, trying to keep this farm expanding here. Uh, yeah, let me continue to do this, and we'll be right back, guys. Cool. So we have all the sugar cane in place now. Yep, all we got to do is just wait. So pretty much the best thing to do at this point would be to go down into the mines and continue mining. 
But obviously we're not gonna do that on camera because I can do that off camera and it would just be not very entertaining for you guys to watch. But we did end up with three leftover sugar cane uh, that couldn't be planted over there. So let's go ahead and get our enchantment table made here. So we need our book. Oh, you know what? It's two diamonds, isn't it? <laughs> it's two diamonds uh, instead of one in order to make it. For some reason, I thought it was only one diamond extra. I don't know why. Anyway, we'll just come down here. We already know where the diamonds are. It's just a quick, just a quick little mine right here. Boom, there we go, another diamond. All right, so now we should have everything together for us to make ourselves our enchantment table. And that seems like a pretty good place to be on the very first episode. You know, we got ourselves just a, not a really nice starter house, but we got ourselves a starter house. We got ourselves some sugar cane growing. We got a book, we got some diamonds and some obsidian to make ourselves an enchantment table. So that's pretty awesome. Now, obviously we're gonna need a lot more sugar cane in order to make all the books for all the bookshelves that are required. But you know, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for today. Just a quick little episode, our first episode of a brand new survival 1.14 Minecraft vanilla let's play. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. Uh, leave some comments and suggestions down below in the comments section. I will definitely be checking those out. But, yep, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.